Stay black in America. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. I'm going to get right into this thing today. Here. Is this um, circumcision or uncircumcision? You know, when, when a guy gets his forehead cut off on his penis, or some guys don't. Uh, back in the day, it was considered a separation. The uh, Gentiles didn't get it done. The Jews got it done. So it was a big thing about uh, who's who got circumcised, who didn't get circumcised, so-called circumcision, all that type of thing. But Jesus really broke that thing down. He said that, uh, you know, that this thing is done by, by human hands. Spiritual uh, matters have nothing to do with being cut down there or not being cut down there. Um, Christ opened up so the Gentiles could, could, could enjoy the same benefits as the Jews. We all could gain everlasting life through the blood of Jesus Christ. So we want to make sure that we, that we keep things in proper perspective. So circumcision, uncircumcision, it doesn't matter whether you decide to do it, not do it. It's something done by human hands. Accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repenting your sins is something you do as unto God, as unto Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, God, hear you, hear your confession of faith, you know, repenting of sins, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then heaven becomes your home automatically. It doesn't, it, it's not by by human uh, realm. Humans have nothing to do with that. That's all a spiritual thing. So you can't let somebody tell you when you're ready, when you're not ready. You, you come as you are into the kingdom of heaven because man can't, can't save you. Never can save you, never will save you. So man can't, shouldn't deter you from accepting Christ as Lord and Savior. Shouldn't tell you what you're doing, what, what prevents you from doing it. You accept Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, repent your sins, let Christ come live in your heart. He's going to mold you. He's going to change you. He's going to take your bad habits away. He's going he's gonna to bring you closer and closer to perfection, closer and closer to being like him. You're never going to be perfect, but your name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Another thing I want, I want to address about that too, uh, the thing about, uh, uh, we, we call it the Virgin Mary, Catholics still call it the Virgin Mary. Of course, you know, Mary, the son of, the, son of, uh, the, uh, the mother of Christ, uh, through by spiritual means, the angel let her know that the, what she was going to see was brought about by the spirit, not, not by sexual means, not by humanistic means. The same thing as circumcision, not by hands, not by human means, not by human fluids, but by the spirit. And, you know, she was picked God, by, by God because she was, a, she was a wonderful woman, you know. So we're going to pick her because she, she's a virgin and she's honorable and she's everything that God wanted, the Son of God, to come through. But the Catholics, you know, and other places and other denominations have kind of like let the devil infiltrate them, you know, infiltrate them. You know, always the devil's always working to, to corner, corner, always working to deceive, deceive. So now, you know, when we, you look at a lot of these documents and these religions, the they give so much uh, clout and praise to the Virgin Mary. But we know that life everlasting, forgiveness of sins, salvation comes through Jesus Christ, what she bore. Not the woman who carried the baby, but the baby that was born has all the blessings. So when they go about saying, Hail Mary, uh, so gracious, and you know, you know what, what the Catholics say. I'm not Catholic, so I don't know, but I know, they, I know they give great emphasis on the Virgin Mary, the former Virgin Mary, because after Jesus was born, it was sexual relationship between her and Joseph. They had other, other daughters and other sons, right? So she couldn't call her the Virgin. In that case, you call every woman the Virgin, even after they had children. <coughs> so I just want to cut through the, through the chase on that. And all those billions of Christians out there, all those billions of Catholics, I pray that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, repent of your sins. But that way you're going to heaven by grace, not by works. This does not be deceived by the devil. It's all written in God's holy word. So don't be deceived. Read it for yourself. Don't get caught up in traditions and fall along the paths of man or fall along the paths of women. Make sure you read that holy Bible for yourself and understand. Mary herself, precious. The, the baby she gave forth, the son of the living God, supreme. Forgiveness of sin, saved by grace, not by works. So look, Trust in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and make sure you get all these things in life. Facts. Don't get just the talking things, the talking points. Get the facts. Because the facts will save your soul. So if you get the facts, you can save your soul. If you don't get the facts, then you can't save your soul. You, get, you stay confused. So I want you not to be confused. I want you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Repent of your sins. By doing so, your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You're going to heaven. You're not going to hell. You're never going to be perfect. You're still going to fall short. Matter of fact, even mentions about falling short. 
some people accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior and repented their sins. It says that uh, said, even if a man is caught in any trespass, he who is spiritual restores such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Each one looking to yourself, lest you yourself become tempted. So what it's saying there then is that this individual that, that made a mistake or from a trespass, he's not practicing the sin. He made a mistake doing a certain thing. He, he was pulled about by lust or she was pulled about by lust. You restore one spiritually because our salvation in heaven is not gained by works, right? I just said it's gained by grace. So you can't lose your salvation by doing something wrong. And you can't gain it by doing everything in the world right. You only do it by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repenting of these sins. That way is done by grace. No other way to the kingdom of heaven, no other way to God but being covered in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Subscribe, like, and share.